Hi folks, I'm Joe from Premier One Supplies and today we're going to set up a positive negative or pos neg electric fence. This is the kind of fence you would use in dry soils, rocky soils, or sandy soils. And you'd use it because it doesn't use soil moisture to bring the energizer's pulse back to the energizer. On a normal positive positive fence, all of the energized strands are connected to the positive terminal of the energizer. And when an animal touches the fence, the power travels through the conductors, through them into the soil, to the energizer's ground rod, back to the energizer. And it travels via, through the soil via the soil moisture. But if you're dry or have rocks or sand where there's not a lot of moisture present to carry the pulse back, you need to use a different method of bringing the pulse back to the energizer. And to do so, we set up half the strands on the fence as negatively connected or connected to the ground rod of the energizer. So when an animal touches both a positive and negative strand on a positive fence, the power travels through the positive strand into the animal to the negative strand to the ground rod back to the energizer. And we still connect it to the ground rod so that way if there's any moisture available and an animal's only touching a positively charged strand, they'll still receive somewhat of a shock but ideally an animal touches both a positive and negative strand. So to set up a positive negative fence, right now I have mine set up in a positive configuration. If I wanted to set it up as a pause neg fence, disconnect your power, unclip the stainless clips from each other, and the top clips will slide into one another, and the bottom clips will slide into one another. That way, the top clips are all running, all those strands connected to this set of clips is running through one insulator, while all the other strands connected to this set of clips are running through a second insulator. So they're isolated from one another. And the only way they touch or meet up is when an animal touches both a positive and negative strand. So to finish setting this up, I'm going to connect one set to my positive terminal of the fence energizer, and I'm going to connect the second set to the ground rod of my fence energizer. So now when I turn the fence on, when the animal touches both a positive and negative strand, they're going to receive the full power of the pulse. There are some downsides to positive negative. If there's grass contact touching both a positive and negative strand, that could cause a short in your fence line because that's creating a direct contact between positive and negative or your positive and negative terminals on the energizer. That and snow cover. If you have a wet slushy snow that acts as a conductor it'll and it's covering both positive and negative strands, that too will act as a short. But otherwise, it works very well in dry soil conditions where there's no soil moisture to carry the pulse throughout the fence. So if you have any questions on POSNEG or POSPOS or any type of fencing, give us a call at 800-282-6631 or visit our website at premieronesupplies.com. Have an excellent day.